Hi guys, welcome back. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Barbecue's a way of life, folks. Today we're going to do a reverse sear fry tip on the Pit Boss Lexington, and we're going to monitor the cook with these R Meteor wireless thermometers. This thing's pretty cool, folks. I'll tell you why it's cool. It's little, comes compact. Got this ceramic tip, folks. Up to 950 degrees they advertise this at. So you can leave this in the meat the whole time through the whole cook. Reverse searing it. Bring it up slow to 110, 115, whatever you want. Crank that heat up. Leave this in. Up to 950 degrees. Turn your pit up to 450, 500, which is the perfect temperature for searing. All right. They sent this to me, asked me if I'd try it out on my channel, and you know I'm brutally honest. The first thing I found out about this thing is how easy it was to connect to my phone. User friendly for old timers like me who are not very good at technology. I downloaded the app, boom, 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 it was ready to go. All right, folks, hang on. We're gonna season this tri-tip up with some Uncle Steve, our favorite uncle. Uncle Steve, gold package, thick meat. All right, then we're going to insert this probe, bring it out to the pit boss that I got warmed up on the smoke setting, and we're going to bring this up slowly until this thing tells me it's at 115, 110 degrees, all right? Hang on, folks. I'll bring you down, and we'll season this up. All right, folks, there it is. We have Uncle Sheev's a steak. Shaky. Shake Uncle Steve's shake. No biner. This is pretty wet. Right out of packing. Thick meat, you can take it. I'm leaving the fat cap on this one. Normally I take it off, but today I'm leaving this fat cap on. We'll get all the edges. I'll leave a link to Uncle Steve. You can buy this stuff, it's amazing. Soak all this stuff up. Miss a spot right here. All right. We're going to go fat cap down on that. We're going to take this amazing little probe. I'm going to turn it on. We are going to insert this probe. Hey, folks. We're going to insert this probe to the thickest part of this meat. All the way in. All right, we're gonna start to cook. I already downloaded the app. It's asking how user friendly that is, folks. Look at that beautiful. Ask you what you're cooking. You're gonna do beef. And it's gonna ask what temperature you got on, folks. Sorry, I don't have all the technology to put side by side screen. Hopefully, you're picking that up. All right, we're gonna shoot for. 110. There we got rare 110. Hit start. Right there. See, it's already to go. No other connection you got to do. Use it friendly. Bam, bam, and you got her, folks. All right, let's take this outside and we'll throw it out on the. Pit Boss Lexington Reverse Sear Tri Tip. This thing's amazing, folks. <laughs> heavier part above the direct heat. We're going to be monitoring it with the arm meter. So far I absolutely love this thing folks. If you're looking for a wireless thermometer that's user friendly, you don't need to know a lot of technology, this is the one for you right here folks. Take it from Scotty who does not know technology. Disconnect it instantly. You can add more devices to this. 
Better get this shut. Oh, <coughs> this thing is ceramic, up to 950 degrees, so it's safe to leave in when we go to sear this off, folks. All right, it's at 39 degrees. Put it in cold, see if we can get a little smoke ring. All right, we're gonna check the range on this. I got this out in the shack which is a good 250 feet away from my kitchen table where I'm going to go back in and monitor this, okay, folks? I'll let you know how the range is and everything, okay? All right, we're going to let this go until it hits 110. All right, be right back, folks. Just made it into my kitchen. About 225 feet by walking it, anyway. Wait for it to connect again. Let's see how fast it connects, folks. All right, we're going back out. Right, there it is. It connected right away. All right, folks. We got about a 225 foot range when it's new. You know, a lot of wireless when they new do good. All right, that's good to know. All right, we'll see you back here in this tri-tip hits 110, folks. All right, guys, we are coming up on the 110 mark. We're at 108. They got this cool little thing. There was no early warning alarm on this, like you get from the meat stick. But do you really need early warning? I don't know. I'm always out here monitoring my stuff anyway. But we'll see what kind of alarm it gives us when it hit 110, folks. Right, hang on folks, I'll bring you back when it hits 110. There it is folks, I got a vibration. Master Chef is done. We're gonna put OK. Now I'm gonna start this. We're gonna go beef. And we're gonna do that 125. Let's go medium rare, 134 folks. I'm going to pull this off and let it rest. Hang on a minute, folks. I'll pull it out. There it is, folks. The old dry tip. Run it up slowly to that 110. We're going to put that over here in the pan. We're going to cover that with some oil. Take this out. I'm gonna crank this up as high as it'll go. Today, folks, we're gonna try out these grill grates in the old tank. We'll open the shear plate up. Shut the lid. I'm gonna hold this booster button. Try to get the temperature up as fast as I can. We've already climbed two degrees just resting. Alright. I'm just resting, folks. We went up two degrees. Alright, I'll bring you back when we get up to the high temp, folks. Be right back. Alright, folks, there we go. Blazing out, 450 degrees. This thing's supposed to be safe. Let me a little pit boss. You only get the lid open and shut as fast as you can. Takes them a lot longer to recover than the bigger ones. All right, we're at 120. We'll set a timer for two minutes and 15 seconds. There we go. Now we'll go back to that and we'll monitor how fast that climbs. Hey, whenever I'm searing a steak on the old Pit Boss Lexington, I like to hold the prime button in, try to keep that fire as hot as I can, get it to recover faster. I got it set to the high setting. That just feeds more pellets in faster, gets the heat up. All right, just my little tip for you. We'll be right back when it comes time to flipper. All right, guys, we're coming up on the two minute and 15 second mark. We're going to pause that. Maybe we won't, we'll just reset that. There it is. 
start that. We're going to take this beautiful crankcap and rotate it one degree like that. Shut that lid back. See, we've only climbed one degree so far in a couple of minutes. So we'll see how this is going to work. Be right back when it, the other two minutes is up. There it is, two minutes. I'm continue holding the prime button, keeping that temperature up above 450 as best as I can. Now medium, medium rare is 134 degrees according to that thing. We're going to verify the fine finish temperature with the old thermo pin, alright? Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're coming back up on our last 2 minutes and 15 seconds. There it is. Alright. Take that off. Look at that beautiful color, folks. Upside down now, folks. Alright. We're still around 122, folks. We'll go two more minutes. Alright, guys, we're coming up on the last few seconds. We'll do one more rotation. Restart. Now we're at 128. It's pretty close, folks. We're going to rotate this around. Make contact. Get that done cut fast as you can. Holding the prime button. Keeping that temperature going. I'll be back here when we hit the other two minute mark. There, folks, this is a very important part right here. We're going to get rid of that. Okay, we're already hitting the 130 mark. We're going to yank that out. We got about a good 10 degree carryover. All right, let's verify that. 131. Let's verify that with the chef's temp. There you have it, folks. 132. That's pretty close. Alright, let's pull this off. We're going to tent that. We're going to shut the old pit boss down. So Lexington did good today. I want to... Alright, let's meet you back inside when we're ready to cut it open. Be right back. Alright guys. <coughs> the rest in a few minutes. We hit the 135 doneness. All right, pretty cool little meat probe. Got this cool little box. It's magnetic. It sticks to the side of your smoker, your grill. Waterproof. You shut it. So far, it's been pretty accurate. I'm amazed how accurate this thing is so far. Let this baby rest. We'll be right back in about five minutes, folks. Well, I just meet it resting. We're at 133 right now. We'll talk a little bit about the arm meter. You know, it comes with this little book that is very hard to read. You need good glasses. The only thing I don't like about it is the small print. But that's the way everything is these days. It paired with my phone immediately. There was no trouble connecting to this thing. You got a cool little box that comes in the transmitters, it comes with batteries. Just push the button. I mean, I'm I'm amazed how easy and user friendly this is for an old guy like me. If I can run this thing, anybody can. It connected, no problem. Alright, you just download the app, the arm meter app that's on the Play Store. Alright, you pair it with your phone, boom, and you're ready to go. That's it, that's how simple and easy it is, folks. You got cool little graphic shows you how to how it climbs. You can connect other arm meters to this. You can reset your target <clears throat> right that. Now if you, are you sure you want to change the preset for your thing? You put OK. You go back to these cool little graphs right here. You hit plus minus whatever you want it to do. Then you're good. Very user friendly, folks. Very user friendly. Well, you can stop monitoring it. 
All right, now you're done. Now you want to take it out and try it in something else? You got this, all this stuff to choose from, folks. All right, you got burgers, chicken, lamb, veal, turkey, fish, sausage, pork, beef, custom peak temperature, range. Now, I ran that range a little over 200 feet from my barbecue shack going into my kitchen where I sit and monitor my stuff. It just ran out. As soon as I walked back towards the door, it immediately reconnected. That was a very plus. The meat stick, I had to fight with that for 10 minutes to get that reconnected. I think it doesn't have the early warning alarm, which really isn't a big deal to me, but might for some of you. I just, awesome thing. I appreciate our meter sending this to me. All right, we verified it with the old chef's temp gauge it was right there within one degree where it's supposed to be on a finished product very nice love this thing you say you put beef you want your beef well done you hit that you hit start and there you go you're right ready to go just that simple folks stop monitoring shut her down you are done okay Enough of that stuff on that. We're going to cut this baby open and see what she looks like on the inside. Alright folks, we'll pull this thing out. There it is. Let me bring you down. We'll show you a little better. It got a little discoloration. We're at 450, 500 degrees. This will clean right off, they said. This is porcelain. Up to 900 degrees, folks. We're going to try this out on another day on open flame. Main thing, care for your products. After this cools off, wash it according to the direction. Some warm soapy water. Put it back on your charging block. And you're good for your next time. All right. After all this fun, I forgot to see which way the green was running. All right, that's a cutter right down the middle. Oh, what do you think, folks? Perfect medium rare? I would say so. Look at that juiciness. Yeah. I think the grain is running this way. We're going to take her down this way, folks. Got that Uncle Steve stick of meat on there. Yeah. That fat cap on the bottom is nice and charred. Let's try it out. That is a one terrific tri-tip, folks. I hope you like my review on yarn meter. They sell for about a sixty-nine dollar. I'll post a link down below where you can get one. I would not steer you wrong on my channel. But these were garbage, I tell you. But this is awesome, user-friendly, smart wireless meat probe, folks. Go out and get you one. Tom Scotty sent you. See you on the next episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue.